Hey everyone, how's it going? Turn that down. Yeah, that, that's okay. Maybe like... The problem is my speaker's up too high. There we go. How are we all doing? Hello Ace Does Stuff Live, hello Blue Vixen, hello to this dungeon sub boss, hello to Matt Crowley, hey JMM1610, always a delight to have you. Welcome to the stream. Um... I'm just kind of hanging out. I'll be real. I'm just kind of hanging out. I J Dorian, thank you so much for subscribing with Prime. Um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making content for you to consume. That's what this is right now. That's all I'm doing. Um, you I'm speaking. The words are going into my microphone here through the magic of the internet. They're being played through some kind of audio. <sighs> device on your end and you know that's the, they go into your ear ear holes and that's like the process of content creation I suppose um, I'm gonna play some city skylines I no probably not for very long we have red planet tonight it's very exciting we're going to be interviewing Maya arson crime you who I thought I thought crime you was a it might still be I don't know um, I thought it was just a username and not a serious word or a serious name and then I heard her saying it out loud I was like okay I guess it's crime you I thought it was crime W like a big W for crime um, <laughs> which I, I mean I was in support of to be clear um, a big fan of crime here on this stream um, uh, we are interviewing Maya Arson Crime U, who, um, and then I take into just saying Crime Dub as well, because I was like, Crime W is a mouthful. Um, anyway, we're interviewing Crime Dub, uh, <laughs> uh, in a few hours on Red Planet, in three hours time, in fact, so I'll probably do a bit over an hour here, playing some of the city skylines, just messing around, really. Um, I'm mostly here to chat with the chat, to be honest. Um, it's my main... My main interest is all of you lovely people and your money. So if you're enjoying the stream, please consider paying for the stream. You can subscribe or cheer or donate directly using command tip. I have this tip goal to help with my being able to afford to pay Pinko the Clown to come and do an extra stream because the clown union, they're very strong and uh, I don't want to go against them. I don't want to try to undercut their wages. I'm just going to pay a completely fair wage to Pinko uh, but that's, you know, that's what we need. We need, we need it. Where, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's 800 pounds. Uh, and we'll get an extra Pinko stream in March if that happens. Um, because this target is going until the end of February. Um, anyway, uh, hello Rowan Crimes. Oh, I'm a big fan of Crimes. Hello, welcome to the stream. Um, <laughs> hello Curiously Cinnamon. Hello Tempura Shrooms. Welcome Femboy Echo. Hello Clumsy. Welcome to the stream, Jordan B. Katie, and I think Lexi plays fast, I didn't say already. Um, Thicky Comrade, hello and welcome. Goat Eyed, hello and welcome. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Sophie, have you seen the I lost my virginity at Shen Yun shirt? No. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. Could you post a link to that in chat? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, this dungeon sub boss says, I wish I had a clown I could hire, but there's no clown union here. Well, if you tip, you will be officially a member of the clown union, and then you will be the clown union there, and who knows? Uh, the, the power of the clown union will grow and grow. Uh, I lost my virginity at Shen Yun 2022 performing arts show. Wow. There it is. There, there it sure is. Wowzers, look at that. <laughs> awesome O'Grieb has tipped 16 pounds and 5 pence and says meow uh, meow to you too Awesome O'Grieb or uh, to use the correct pronunciation meow file under things you didn't know you needed I know it kind of owns it does kind of own though damn <laughs> um, what else hope you and Pinko have been doing well uh, Pinko is doing well I've been a bit miserable um, we'll love watching fellow British leftists do the video games. It's my favorite thing. I'm glad. I'm very glad. 
Also, hey, Sophie. Hello, Bella2917. Welcome to the stream. Okay, uh, should we play some City Skylines? Should we do that? Should, let's, let's play some, some Cities Skylines. Um, in case you are... Oh, people will be able to see this. So I'm just gonna... If you're wondering about my, my, my Steam name, it is there, and that is deliberate. You can, you can add me. It's Hank the Robot Turtle. It's named after a robot turtle called Hank, who's named after a real turtle called Hank. Um, okay. So, I want to do a new game. Uh, I've been messing around a little bit with this in my spare time. Uh, not tons, but like enough, I guess. Um, so I have, I have some like, some like basic plans. That said, I was messing around with it really stoned the other day. And I, I tried to, um, yeah, I like, I had to restart the same city about four or five times because I was too, I was, I was too bimbo pilled. 200 pounds on the dot would be a shame if someone donated to ruin that. Wink. <laughs> Thanks, Osmo Grieve. I appreciate you, uh, trying to bait other people into donating. Um, although I did read that as it would, uh, it would be a shame if someone donated to ruin that twink. <laughs> I want that twink ruined with donations. Um, okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. What is that thing? Does anyone know what that is? There's a little thing there in the, uh, in the woods on the Diamond Coast map. I don't know what that is. Um, I think I'm gonna go a very water-focused map. I want to report the massive W of being called a Jimbo, Jim Bimbo, by a gym friend while lifting. Turns out strength training just makes trans girls more beautiful. Oh, so, um, genuine PSA. Working out. Whoop, whoop exercise um, does put more uh, human growth hormone in your body and so if you are taking estrogen you um, and you want breasts um, <laughs> um, uh, getting more fat in your diet can help with that but also exercising more can help with that as well because if you're not starting when you're very young um, just the like the, the 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 stuff that makes your body grow basically um there'll be less of it if you're past puberty um so exercise Ex exercise exercise if it helps motivate you to exercise um bear in mind that you're becoming <laughs> uh sexier which i think a lot of people do anyway but uh, it's a device that needs spelling out to trans people because, you know, um, up until you transition, uh, exercising isn't towards becoming sexier. It's towards a, a strange ideal that you've been told is good. Um, don't say I have to exercise for big, bigger boobs. This is the worst. <laughs> I mean, you could just do what I do and make, uh, make sex be most of the exercise that you do. And then, um... And then you're just getting getting fucked into being more fuckable. Nat's shaking her head at me off screen right now. I think she knew that when she turned around, I'd already be, already be looking at her because this was a bit to wind her up. Um. Anyway, let's play some city skylines. Let's let's make a city. Jenny Azoth says sexercise, and I agree. I agree, Jenny. Thank you. A computer witch just subscribed. Thank you so much. Uh, everyone, please remember, if you're enjoying the stream, you can consider paying for the stream by subscribing or cheering or donating directly using command tip. If you use command tip, you'll be contributing to my donation goal, which will get us closer to doing another Pinko stream in March. Uh, I'm not saying there will be no Pinko streams without the goal. I'm saying you will get an extra one in March if we hit the goal. Um... Is that a good neighborhood? That's a ter that's a terrible tiny little neighborhood. Hang on. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Now, power and piping. I never use coal power in um, City Skylines, and I feel like I'm probably limiting myself a lot by 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 being that way. 
but I also, I just have such a like deep aversion to it, I really can't bring myself to do it. Giving trans girls money is practice? Yes, it is practice. Furthermore, it's based. It, to, giving Sophie money is based. That's, a, that's a, 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 core, a core piece of Sophie thought that we have here on the stream. And not giving Sophie money, that's cringe. So don't be cringe. Uh, be based instead. And give Sophie money. Um, okay. I need to slurp up some water here. I give Patreon money if that counts? That absolutely counts. Thank you very much for giving Patreon money. I really appreciate that. I haven't checked the direction of the flow. Okay, thank God. Okay. <laughs> for a second there? Just for a second? I, uh, I thought I was in some trouble there. I thought I had actually put my waste pipes upstream of my, um, of my, um, extraction pipes okay and I think we can oh no I need to zone it's time to zone <laughs> okay and residential there too and we'll go blue blue and go based my friend called Sophie broke her rib today so the Sophies took a collective L oh no I'm really sorry to hear that I am. Um, I have bruised pride and hurt feelings, but no physical maladies right now. Uh, Mommy Sajia, hi. Hello, welcome to the stream. You're a first time chatter. It's good to have you here. Am I saying your name right? Sajia? Is that. I mean, I'm, I'm doing my best. Um, I work up mostly at home. I only go to the gym if I have a workout buddy that day. Yeah, having a workout buddy is cool. I, um. I just, I mostly have long walks and I do squats and I, I'm meaning to get back onto the exercise bike soon. Um, I tried to do like workout streams for a little bit. It wasn't, it wasn't taking, I wasn't into it. Um, right, let's build some more gosh down roads. And also let's settle on what, uh, what part of this, this beautiful, idyllic, untouched natural landscape is gonna be, um, Oh my god, I didn't build the fucking power line. I'm so... I'm so dumb. I'm so... God. Astrogen, not even once. Um, I need to decide which part of this beautiful landscape is going to be the, the, the polluted, garbagey industrial district. Um, actually, chat, has anyone here had success with, like, mi mixing in um, industrial districts into their city? Can that work? It says the name is the name. It's the same as the name. Sasha. Gotcha. Okay. Um, your your bike streams motivated me to get my own stationary bike, and I love it. Well, I'm really glad to hear that, Bass Junkie. That's um, I'll, I'll count that as a dub. That's great. I've started researching for my first attempt at a video essay. The working title is "I'm a Mommy's Boy and I Want to Abolish the Family." <laughs> And I'm really enjoying learning about the power of community. That's a great title. I'm, I'm looking forward. Uh, you should, um, yeah, keep the chat updated with how that's going. That's very funny. Um, I'm glad you're having fun researching it. That's really cool. I mean, I, all, I to be honest, um, in no small part want communism because uh, oh, my mom, I want my mom to be okay. Uh, and I do know several other people who I would describe their political like motivations as primarily uh, mum based. <laughs> this is part of why Nat's always, also, uh, Nat's also always saying that we should radicalize mums. It's like an essential thing. They are already doing most of the labor that exists outside of a capitalist framework. Like yeah. most of it. Yeah. Literally most of it. <laughs> yep. So they're the people like with the skills and the determination, like, you know, I'm with you, babe. to actually do that shit. Okay. You know I agree with you. I do. Okay. Well, I do. <laughs> okay. Mommunism. Yes. Now there's a shirt idea. Okay, I need to take a note of this. This is this is a very 
uh, exciting possibility for Sophie from Mars March. Radicalize the moms. Mommunism. Mommunism. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good shit, good shit. Good shit. Um, okay. What's the deal here? Oh, I'm in debt. Okay. Classic. Please build into the area. There, there we go. It's fine. <sighs> Uh, Lexi plays fast says, oh, oh, I need to scroll over to look at the chat. It can work with offices. Industry tends to make people unhappy. Yeah, that's what I've noticed, but it can work. City Skylines, like so many city builders, is pretty hostile to multi-use areas in general. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. So, okay, I'm going to stick with how it is for now, but, um, thank you for the tips. Uh, and speaking of tips, stream, enjoying, money, give money me. <laughs> Command tip, etc. Uh, what did I zone already? Oh, I'm still losing money. This sucks. I can't build green in the areas that I've built already because, like, it's gonna... But I'm just losing money. Shit. All right. I like seeing the trucks coming around. That's fun. They're like little bugs. Money equals poggers. Please don't say poggers in my chat. Pog and Pog Champ I will allow, but not Poggers. Uh. Oh, I have a population of 200 already. That's nice. When do I become a little Hamlet? Not saying Poggers equals Pog. I agree. <laughs> Make a building historical. I'm not gonna. Do, I'm not gonna do any of that shit. Come on. <sighs> I've never played City Skylines. How free is it in design philosophy? Like, does it only really let you build American style cities or does it have other options? I would say in terms of um, regional city style, you can totally build like, I don't think that it, I don't think that it's implicitly super American. They do have like highways connecting over vast unpopulated areas. So there's that. Um, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily American as such, uh, and more that it, like, it does put you on a track of development for your city that's quite straight-jacketed. Um, you can play around with it a lot, and I mean, I'm hoping to explore it more so that I understand it well enough to install some mods at some point. That would be cool. But, um, I fucked up the city already. I've literally already fucked up the- I can't- I Okay, alright. You know what? You fucking know what. That's just, that's, that's just, that's, that's, ah, oh, jeez. Um. <laughs> I don't generally, I don't generally, like, make cities go bankrupt. Um. But sometimes I do. Um. I don't generally make cities go bankrupt if I, uh, if I make it past the first, like, uh, hour of making them. But. If I, but if I do fuck them up, I fuck them up spectacularly within the first like 10 minutes, every time. Um, you become a little Hamlet when you're recognized as the Crown Prince of Denmark. Ah, I see what you did there. Um, I, anyway, I think that it, um, I think it, I think the development path for the city is quite straight jacketed and there are certain things that are prized as like the final goals of making a city which like <sighs> you could read as satirical but still ultimately like they are the things that you, they consider your city like more legitimate because you got to enough money to build this thing and it's like often they're shopping malls um no walkable neighborhoods moment. I think you can design a pretty walkable city. Um, you can, you, you can, um, I don't know about making things completely pedestrianized, but you can make, make sure that like, you can make a lot of roads that have um, bigger, uh, what am I trying to say? You can make roads that have um, much like wider pavements than, 
open road areas uh, and you can make a, everything like bikeable and stuff, which is pretty cool. But, no. Um... Ah, uh, Christ. Truly is just autism the video game. Okay, I think we're ready to zone. Right. Um. Let's go industrial out here. And then I think I need to make a bit more residential areas before it kicks up a fuss, because it will kick up a fuss. sure is humorous. What's that? Oh my god, I forgot to change this. I'm so dumb. I'm actually so, so dumb. Okay, right, cool. Fucking live screen. Hooray! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry I didn't check the chat for so long that I just completely was oblivious. Dumbass. Okay. <sighs> Sophisticated Sophie thought. I, yeah. I told you it was going to be a weird one. I've been having a weird time. I've been... Uh, there's some personal stuff I'm not going to get into that has left me kind of traumatized and I didn't get a lot of sleep last night um, because I kept thinking about it and then when I was like drifting off I would like wake up thinking about it and stuff like this. Um, yeah, and I just... I, it's just been a, a bit of a, ru a rubbish time in general and... Um, yeah, so that's why I was saying I'm going to do a pretty chill stream today, because I don't really have a, a, a planned, like, discussion topic or whatever. And then, like, if I had a planned discussion topic, what would it be anyway, right? It would be like, wow, JK Rowling sure does hate trans people. That's not news, but it's, it just is true. Wowee. Sure can walk outside in London and see tourists who've picked up Platform nine and three quarters much, just proudly walking around like they aren't funding hate crimes against me. <laughs> cool! Yay! Um, I'm kidding. I mean, obviously there are productive conversations to be had. Um, uh, just probably not about the British trans politics right now because the productive conversation is just like an hour of me screaming atonally into the mic. Um, uh, we're going to be having a productive conversation on Red Planet in, in two and a half hours time with Maya Crimeu. That's going to be really fucking cool and I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you all will watch. Um, do you all know about Maya? She leaked the TSA no-fly list. She's a 
She's a doll cat girl hacker. Um, she it pronouns. Here for the scream hour? Yeah, it could work. <sighs> okay. Um. Okay. So I'm probably going to be a little less chatty than usual as well. I do need to say that because I, um, yeah, I've just, I just have been having a pretty rough time and, um, yeah. I will quantify it like this. I had a rough enough time that I needed to, uh, call with my mom to cancel plans I have with her or change plans I have with her. And I was really expecting her to be really, really upset. Um, and she was understanding <laughs> because, because of what a rough time I've been having. That's how, that's how I will, I will, uh, that's the metric I will use. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. She, it's, it was very nice that she was understanding and, and, and nice to me. It was just, um, I guess not what I built, built up myself, built myself up for with the phone call. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna moan at you for a minute. I also have to, um, I also have to, uh, have a GP appointment, uh, this next week, and I need to call HMRC tomorrow. So I need to call HMRC tomorrow because I have to have a def deferred payment plan for taxes, because I didn't know about payments on account, which is basically the system where HMRC wants you to, um, oh shit, uh, HMRC wants you to, like, And we're back, cool. They have this thing called payments on account where basically HMRC wants you to pay as much tax as you paid for this year across the next year. Only the first payment for that, it's in two payments and the first one is immediately. So I didn't know about that. So I'm, I'm warning anyone who's listening right now, if you don't know about payments on account, this could seriously fuck you up, so pay attention. Um, like seriously. Um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm actually just gonna go full screen and like genuinely. This is a PSA. If you are self-employed in the UK and you don't know about payments on account, because I did not know about it, and if you don't know about national insurance contributions at class four, and I didn't know about that, you need to know. <laughs> so, class four national insurance contributions is after a certain profit threshold, and after that threshold, you're gonna be paying two thousand pounds of national insurance so that's a huge thing to add to your tax bill that you need to be aware of and then next year's tax bill they will want it to be paid now and in six months time and then if you make more money next year than this year pay the difference next time you know you understand what i'm saying um that's payments on account that's the system that they they i've i've just been filing my 2020 my 21, 22 tax year, right? And I had the money for, for how much I calculated that would be. And then they added on 2,000 pounds. And then they got half of that and said, you also need to pay that now. So all told, it was like more than twice as much um, as I'd been expecting to pay. Uh, so I need to call them up and I need to do, do a defer deferred payment plan. So if you're in the UK and you uh, are self-employed, just watch out for that because yeah past a certain level of uh, uh of profit earned you are going to be in bizarre trouble <laughs> and no one and nobody told me about about payments on account so it's like it's quite a scary thing um but it doesn't have to be scary i mean i yeah i don't have the money but i will be able to pay it of uh, like across the year so i'm basically calling them up tomorrow and saying hey look i don't i don't have that money right now but if uh, we can set up this plan. I can pay you in installments. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I have to have a, a, a GP call as well because I need healthcare. Yay! Healthcare! Such an easy thing for trans people to get. Um, I won't even go into that. I'm just, I'm, I'm literally just not even going into that. Um... It's mad weird that doing taxes is so complicated everywhere else. Where are you, Mommy Sasha? I'm just gonna say sh Sasha, by the way. It's very strange for me to say Mommy. Um, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> Where are you, Sasha? Um, 
Jenny, what is this definition you've just posted? Hang on. Was someone confused about doll? Oh, okay, hang on. Beanie. Ba -ba 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 I missed something in the chat here. I'm not sure what doll means in the context here. Can someone explain to me? Explain to me. Thank you, lol. Um, I just use doll to mean trans women. Um, not everyone likes the definition. Like likes the term. Jenny, I have. I don't know where that definition has come from. Um, <laughs> the last sentence is very funny. A doll is a beautiful trans woman. Like off the walls, gorgeous. She's stunning. She's cunty. She is the grand dame. She looks like a literal doll. She may engage in sex work, similar to a bimbo, but smarter and faster. <laughs> the last sentence was just is very good. That's from Urban Dictionary. Oh, that's really funny. Um, anyway, I I use um. I just use doll to mean to mean uh, all trans women. Although I acknowledge that some trans women are not dolls, um, and I allow them to opt out of that, and that is fine. This is bimbo slander. No, I don't think I. I mean, bimbos are famously not not smart, but um, little known fact: bimbos are also very slow, <laughs> like a turtle. <laughs> uh. Most people just say, Sasha, I'm in the Netherlands, most tax things are done, and all you have to do is check them. If you're self-employed, it's a little more work, but not much. Yeah, I mean, I've heard about the Netherlands tax system, and it sounds really fucking good, and I really wish that was what we had instead, um, because this is all incredibly unnecessary, and we all know it, but we all just do this shit anyway. It's, ugh, fucking... I... I society. <laughs> Fucking society, man. Um, specifically British. We live in a society, parentheses, British. Bleep blomp, bleep blomp Ben just raided with a party of 36. Thank you very much, Ben, for raiding. Uh, that's very nice of you. I'm, if people don't know, I'm Sophie. Oh, Sophie from Mars on most platforms. Um, I... At the moment, I'm just having a chill time. Uh, I don't. I I would do the whole the whole sales pitch for who I am or whatever, but I'm I'm just hanging right now. So what's up, Ben and followers? Uh, let's go yellow, 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 and blue, and green, green, green. Like that. Um, what I'm doing at the moment is not going to be that interesting. I am just like, um, as I say, playing some City Skylines and hanging out. I've been having, as I was telling my chat just now, a kind of miserable time with it. Um, so I'm just like mostly chilling, reminding people that if they're enjoying the stream, they can pay for the stream by subscribing or cheering or donating directly using command tip. Uh, as Sasha just did. Thank you very much, Sasha, for the ten pounds. Don't forget to hide this from the tax man and use it for ice cream or something. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha, um, for that gift of ten pounds, my friend. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just chilling. Um, because I've been a bit down in the dumps playing some City Skylines. I don't really know what the project of the City Skylines city is going to be so far, but it sure is going to be something. We'll see. It's going to be something. Um, in a couple hours over on Red or Twitch.tv slash Red Planet Live, uh, I'm going to be I and my other three co-hosts on Red Planet, a weekly commie roundtable show, are going to be interviewing Maya Crimeu, the uh. Cat girl doll hacker who just leaked the TSA no fly list. So that's going to be a really exciting episode of the show. Uh, please check that out if you uh, are free in a couple hours' time uh, on twitch.tv slash redplanetlive. In the meantime, this is going to be a very chill stream. It's not going to be uh, loads of chatting, certainly not compared to the interview later. Um, why down in the dumps? Just some personal stuff that's left me kind of traumatized and a bit raw um 
the the broad strokes is I got out of an abusive relationship. And uh yeah. What more can I say? Um not enough money. The story of my life. Okay. I have forgotten to switch to the live screen again. Also the story of my life. Okay, now my now my city has trash, that's good. But they probably deserve medicine, probably. If they ask really nicely. Oh dang, do spend money on ice cream. Well, yeah, I mean, I have a, a little like pile of snacks right here. Um, I'm trying to take it slow. I also have to work for a living, unfortunately. Um, and YouTube uh, punishes me quite drastically if I am not, um, if I am, if I don't release videos regularly, which is really cool and really good for my mental health. Uh, so I'm working on a project at the moment to try and get something out for like, you know, the end of February kind of time. Um, it's, uh, ugh, 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 whatever. Um, It can be really hard having what is absolutely like <laughs> a, I don't want to say dream job because I think that buys into capitalist language of like, why should you have a dream job? Why should you dream of having a job and working for a living? Um, but like compared to other jobs, being an influencer is one that a lot of people aspire towards, it's one that a lot of people want, it's one that a lot of people are jealous of others for having, and, you know, in many ways it's pretty chill. Like, a lot of strangers on the internet very kindly give me a bunch of money, uh, like, all the time, <laughs> um, whether I produce stuff or not, and that money, you know, that figure, uh, like, my Patreon subscription or whatever will dip off over time if I don't release stuff. Which happened uh, last year, partly because of this abusive relationship, so that's it's fucking sick as hell. Um, uh, but the the money will still be there, and I can just completely not work for a month, and people will still pay me, which is wild. Um, but, like, I... I don't know. It's 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 tricky. It, it has a lot of... It has... It has... It has pretty extreme and dire pitfalls like most influences i know are like in the absolute fucking doghouse uh, like when it comes to mental health just like they're burned out they have adhd they have a bunch of other undiagnosed shit they're like really stressed um they they're taking like sponsorships which compromise their principles because they need the money they're like they're, they're, they've slowed down just enough because being influencer allows you to do that to like assess all the other problems in their life that led to them not being able to hold down a regular job that led to them being an influencer <laughs> and, then, and then there's just like this mountain of other problems like it's 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 the rarer influencer who is like very stable and happy <laughs> um my dream job is to make art and aesthetically pleasing weapons. Uh, my dream job is for jobs as a concept to not exist and for me to just... <sighs> I mean, that's the, that's the thing. That is, is exactly the thing. I like spending my time writing and reading and uh, discussing ideas with my friends that I then, like, are the exact same kinds of ideas that I then talk about in videos. Um, as far as people, like, define the idea of a dream job, I'm doing a dream job, it's pretty fucking cool. But it can be garbage, it can extremely, extremely be the fucking worst. <laughs> um, I periodically having, I periodically have some friends who uh, remind me like, you have no moral obligation to look at the comment sections of your channel at all. And if it makes you feel bad, you simply don't have to. <laughs> Oh, Beanie, thank you so much for the five pound tip for the doll fund. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Um, uh, 
Okay. Oh, I'm a worthy village. That's pretty nice. Okay. I mean, I'm supposedly a worthy village, but I don't even have a um, medical center yet. Which is not particularly worthy of me. My city is pretty, like, uh, acephalous right now, and it's just kind of growing, like, it's just, it's, it's not really a city, it's just kind of a neighborhood <laughs> that's uh, getting bigger. Um, hmm. I'm a big biology nerd, and I genuinely want to work in the field and help people, but also, yeah, the way jobs work right now is bad and stuff, for sure. Like, there are systems that need to be big, like academia uh, needs to be big. Uh, in order to function and exist, right? Like it needs for there to be people doing all sorts of shit um, in order for academia to like work functionally at all. Uh, there have to kind of be a lot of people involved with it who have uh, standards set across what they do and how they behave and how their work works and like what kind of work they decide to do. Um, But, um, obviously that opens us up to all sorts of problems, right? The, the, the problems of big systems are almost innumerable, but, um, yeah, uh, because of that, you know, I do think that there are some conceptions of work which will be fairly similar in some ways to conceptions of work that we have now, right? There's like, there's very little way to get around the idea that, like, if we want to keep the population healthy, we probably need to keep hospitals open. So if if the if the if 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 work were abolished, although people would be a lot healthier anyway, because so much of people's poor health comes from work, um, uh, not being able to exercise, not not getting enough fresh air, uh, uh, mental health, and the like the implications that the body takes on from that, because the body keeps the score. You know, um, nonetheless, if we want to keep hospitals open. There has to be like people working there who've been trained to a standard, satisfactory degree of uh, education, right? Um, anyway. How are we doing? People are leaving the city still, I don't get this. Okay. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Generally, is it better for you if you sign up to the Patreon or donate a bigger tip? Um, well, huh. Um, it just depends. So Patreon takes a cut, whereas the tip is just the money directly. So if it's the same amount of money overall, um, then it would be better to donate because there wouldn't be a cut taken out of it by Patreon. But like, if you want to support my income in a long-term sense, then Patreon, right? Because then it would be monthly. That, that's just up to you. Like that's, that's, that's really just your call. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Um... Uh huh. Can you build a train-heavy city with narrow roads, narrow roads and city skylines, or is it all roads all the time? Oh no, you can totally build a bunch of train stuff. Um, I haven't un unlocked the transport um, uh, thing yet, 
But if we... Oh, oh, hang on. No, we're not quite there yet. Um, I haven't unlo unlocked the transport thing yet. Um, the first thing that you unlock is actually trams. So if I wanted to... Um, to do transit as soon as it unlocks, I would have to be widening the roads anyway to do trams. But um, I think that... What was I going to do? Fire department. Yeah, I definitely need a fire, fire house. Um, but if I want to uh, do trains, yeah, I mean, we could make this the, we could make this city very, very train focused. Um, I am now, I am now naming the city uh, Autismburg. Let's go. Okay, cool. This is going to be a very, very train-focused city. <laughs> uh, when trains unlock. Um, I did say my next project I wanted to do on stream was going to be, like, public transit-focused. So I will I will stick with that, and I will do that. Um, public library. I'm not going to do that right now. I do, want, I do want as many public libraries as possible, but I think it's probably important that my, my citizens don't burn to death first? Like, probably, I don't know, um, people, people in this game are very flammable, is the thing. Uh, Jenny, thank you for the five pounds for the bimbo fund. Well, as you, as we've demonstrated today, I am incredibly stupid at the moment, and, um, so the bimbo fund is winning, I think, is the lesson. Um, we're at 220 pounds. If someone tipped two pounds 22, I'm just saying, that would be kind of neat. Uh, can't start fires if you're too busy reading books. Right, but if you if you have a lot of libraries and then you start one fire, you only got to do one. Am I right? <laughs> um, Sasha says, Sophie from Mars, ooh, I just remembered, I wanted to ask, in your Kaiju Monster Man video, the poster on the wall, do you remember where you got it? It looked awesome. Yes, I do. One second. So, um, the poster... The poster you're referring to is this image. And it's it came in the Organize uh, number 97. Um, uh, this magazine is um, uh, a UK magazine, although I do think they, they can ship internationally. So if you're in the Netherlands, you probably would, would, would probably be able to get it. Um, they certainly report internationally on all sorts of stuff that's going on. Basically, every few months they put together a magazine. Uh, I've been subscribed for a bit over a year, and I have uh, four issues so far. Um, every time they they get guest contributors. If you know Mallory Moore is a British trans activist, and she um. She, she, she wrote an article for them pretty recently. I think it might have been in the last issue, actually. They always get, like, a, a guest artist to... Jenny, thank you so... Oh, Sasha also tipped the... Oh, no! Okay, um... <laughs> Sasha and Jenny, thank you both for tipping £2.24. Unfortunately, you both doing it has ruined the, the, the bit. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to press on and try to get to, you know... 300 pounds, uh, 333 pounds, 33 pounds, there you go. Um, they always have like a guest artist who does like a little, um, uh, a cover and then it usually comes with the, with, with the cover as a poster as well. So, um, so yeah, yeah. Organize is a cool magazine. It's run by, um, some anarchists, uh, Anarchist Federation, in fact, I, I believe are intimately involved with Organized Magazine, and um, they have a Patreon you can check out. I really I really like them. It's a, a really good way to just stay informed. When, whenever a new issue of Organized comes in the mail, I basically just, like, I look at the poster, I look at the stickers they've sent me, and then I run a bath, and I get in, and I just, like, read through everything they have to say about like the kind of the situation around the world to see what what you know what what we're up to what's what what we're facing what's going on uh hey hey andy anyway i strongly recommend uh subscribing to organize magazine it's a very cool magazine 
and um, I uh, I'm sure if you go and check out their socials you can probably track down a place where you could get the poster from as well uh, but that's where the poster came from uh, Gola from below thank you so much for subscribing and saying hi Sophie hi chat what's new uh, hey Gola I am just hanging out having a bit of a melancholy stream today how are you Gola from below um, Bella2917 has tipped one pound. Thank you very much, Bella. Very nice of you. What's happened? Why is so much of my city without power? Do I just need more of these boys? Okay, let's just give them another boy. How's that? No, my energy production is way below my consumption. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna stop losing money. Shit. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, I fucking forgot to change the screen again. I'm so, I'm so dumb. It's unbelievable. Ugh. This is what I appreciate about about doing Red Planet is there's like a conversational flow and I can just go back and forth with my co-hosts and the guest. Um. If you've joined more recently, I haven't had a lot of sleep. I am, have been having a rough time lately, and it kind of kept me up last night. And I, um, so my brain is simply not on. Uh, I'm going to be streaming for a little bit longer, and then I'll probably go for a walk before Red Planet. Um, tonight on Red Planet, however, very excitingly, we are talking to Maya, uh, Maya Arson Crime You, uh, the, the trans cat girl hacker who just leaked the TSA no fly list. Um, I'm really excited for this conversation. It's going to be really fun. Hopefully this coffee wakes me up a little bit by then. Uh. Bimba fight after one force fam. Yeah, that's what happened. It's tragic. I just chatted to a bot online one time. Suddenly, bam, transgender. Absolutely trans. Oh, this is slow. Okay. slash pan trans gal software engineer, not a stereotype at all. I have met so many software engineers since I started dating trans women. I probably more than I met when I was working as a software engineer, um, if I'm real. <laughs> I have met so many programmers in the last few months. Ace Does Stuff Live says, it's weird that I'm cis considering how much of a stereotype I am. I'm just gonna hit the button that changes scenes on OBS here. Okay. Yeah, that's the way to go. This is gonna be a very 
This is, I think I'll probably put this into a playlist when I do more of these streams building the same city But like this one is gonna be the dullest one by far because like I am just building population to get to the point where I can start messing with trains There's really this 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 particular stream itself is Nothing is happening. <laughs> I am I am just mechanically building population until we have enough population that I can mess with trains <laughs> Is this vod going to be on YouTube? Because I want to send that to my boy, my, my boyfriend. Yeah, this this will be on YouTube. You could also clip it using Twitch's uh, clip function if you want. Also, yeah, if you if if it winds up the the YouTube route, hello to Ace Does Stuff Live's boyfriend. Hi, howdy. Um, uh, help, 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 him. help, 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 help him out. Come on, just help, help him out. Okay. Come on. Um, tra tran trans, Sophie Grad Light Rail. I've just called the city Autism Bug for now because we've we've decided we've decided together as a stream that this is going to be a train city that's all about trains. So um, yeah. <laughs> what else can I say, really? I'm just gonna take out some demolished buildings. One thing I, uh, speaking of like. Uh, rules and assumptions made by the uh, the game about what like about how cities work is that like abandoned buildings must be bulldozed um, and certainly this is a, a base game thing that I'm sure that you could make modifications to um, actually maybe there's a policy for this I didn't realize maybe there's a oh, I can't see any policies for it anyway um, but like abandoned buildings have to be torn down and that's just a very very capitalist assumption um which i think that the next 50 to 100 years of human life on earth will probably <laughs> will probably see people um much more um conscious of the fact that an empty ha an empty building is a building that someone could simply be in and simply vibe <laughs> instead so okay we're having power problems again let's go let's just go let's let's just fucking go let's get nuts Okay. Yeah, KDR one one K. Um, the the other problem obviously is yeah, cops. Like the um, the need to have cops in city skylines is is pretty atrocious. I mostly don't have them, and my crime rate stays pretty low because I fund uh, schools, public libraries, and third spaces as much as possible. Um, and so I'm glad that the game accounts for the fact that you 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 know you can <laughs> you can do that and crime doesn't go up um but it's also just like crime you know the crime meter increased oh no there's crime now <laughs> it's like well how did that happen <laughs> how is there suddenly so much crime happening you know what i mean anyway um what's this a dog park 5,000? Since when? Whatever. Let's go green, 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 green. Blue. Okay. There's definitely a park that only costs 1,000. Yeah, it's that one. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's better. Um, they have a few medical clinics. Health generally is pretty good. Fire. Oh, my my fire risk is pretty fucking bad right now. What's the cost of this? Twelve thousand. Cool. 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 Um. They don't ship organized to EU right now. I got Brexited. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sasha. That really sucks. Um, damn. 
that that does really suck. I don't know what to say about that. That's a real shame because like it's a great magazine and um, but yeah, I mean if you want the poster specifically, if you, and you will be able to find the details of what artist made that 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 poster uh, or that cover and they might they might also sell the poster somewhere. I'm not sure. Yikes, crike, yikers, crikers. That's an arsonable city. It sure is. <laughs> Huh, almost as if you improve social safety nets, you eliminate needs-based crime, better known as almost all crime. Uh, almost all crime is not needs-based crime, because the majority of theft is wage theft. Um, but I do appreciate the sentiment. I'm working on a video of Elizabeth Holmes right now, for people who are not familiar, the, uh, the Theranos lady. Um, and in it I've decided I'm just gonna recount some of my experiences with capitalist work um and it's yeah it's becoming an interesting project it's like i've experienced wage theft twice um oh. two and a half times uh, i've experienced i've experienced uh two counts of actual wage theft and then one where i was basically blackmailed with the prospect of wage theft if i did not do what the person wanted um and a lot, a lot of the point that I'm trying to get at with, with talking about Elizabeth Holmes is like, she, um, you know, she's got, a, she's, she's getting 11 years in prison, and she was found innocent of charges of uh, defrauding patients. So like, objectively, the worst part of what she's done. The jury literally found her innocent, which I think is a very questionable decision, but that's that was their decision. Um, and the thing she's getting 11 years in prison for is taking rich people's money. <laughs> uh, the thing you you cannot do without consequences. Um, so I'm uh, I'm uh, yeah. Anyway, it's a it's a whole thing. I'm putting some stuff together. I've got a lot of thoughts about it. Um, I'm going to try not to let it spin out into a whole conversation about female entrepreneurs, although I have a lot of thoughts about that too, um, being technically one <laughs> myself. <laughs> uh, um, stupid. Capitalism, stupid. Um, another medical center with that help. No, I think another firehouse would help. There's not enough fire in this city. I'll install a firehouse to help with that. Of course you can, you just also have to be rich people. Well, her company was was valued at like $9 billion uh, when she was found out for what she'd done. So, I mean, she was obscenely wealthy um, and she's still getting 11 years in jail. So I don't, I don't think that I think that I think there's some val some validity to that, but I think that you know rich people will notice and have the means to go after you if you take their money, whereas poor people just don't. Um, wage theft is going to be a yeah a, a kind of important part of talking about what I'm talking about. I should actually look into whether Theranos um, engaged in wage theft with its employees as well, because like they they did a lot of shady shit, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if they just thought of. Um, thought of the money they were meant to pay their employees as theirs as well. I would not be surprised in the slightest. Mm. Yes is probably the safe assumption. <laughs> uh, maybe I include a line in the video that's like, I researched to see, and I didn't see any examples of Theranos engaging in wage theft, but... You know, they probably did. <laughs> yeah. Worked in fast food for eight months, and yeah, very few things can destroy your faith in capitalism like working in service and getting your hours cut so the bosses can save money. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking awful. So I worked as a programmer um, for about six years. Um, that was my career. Uh, I did other work that was to pay, you know, just, just to pay the bills or whatever, but the, my, um, yeah, my career was in programming. Um, 
Korea is such a bizarre capitalist illusion, the idea that you will pick one thing to be good at, and then that will be the rest of your entire life. Um, and it fucking sucks. <laughs> it fucking sucks. I've, I've got a couple of terms in this. I've got a, a couple of bits in this video where I need to like define terms. Korea and professionalism, right? Professionalism is the, the ways that capitalism expects you to act while working in order to perpetuate um, uh, perfect obedience. Career is this capitalist illusion that you need to specialize into one thing and only be good at that thing as if that's how human beings work. Um, often fed by myths of natural talent, skill, tendency, uh, discussions of human nature, which get very eugenics-y and very racist very fast. Why aren't there more X in Y field? I don't know, maybe because you fucked them into the dirt for hundreds of years with settler colonialism. Why aren't there more women in blah blah? I don't know, fucking the entire history of... of... oh god. <laughs> anyway, um... Women in STEM, fuck me. Ah... <sighs> It's a boom town, look at that. Okay, I can play with uh, public transit now, but only, no, not only tram. Oh no, it's only buses and trams, okay. When do I get metro? 7,000, 9,500, okay. Uh, chat, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna save Autismburg now. And I'm gonna um, wrap up. I might give you a little look around some other stuff I've been doing. Uh, what else have I been up to, actually? Hydro Nightmare? That was a wild time. Um, I made Sofastopol, which uh, was Andy's recommendation for a name. Sofastopol is a weird city. It's quite, like, cyberpunky. It's just all grids and low-rise and then, like, other high-rise bits. Um, Sofopolis. What was New Save? Okay. Okay. Um, but I think I'm probably going to come back, uh, I'm probably going to put some hours into this in the meantime, into Autismburg, to make the train, and I'll probably come up with a better name also, by the way, <laughs> uh, to make, to get it up to the level where we can actually play with trains, and then we can do trains on the next stream, and it'll actually be, actually be fun, rather than just me, uh, doing that to fill the airtime. So, um... Red Planet Live, twitch.tv slash Red Planet Live in two hours time is gonna be, oh my god, that's a lot of, that's a lot of abandoned buildings. Oh my god. I haven't looked at this one in a little while. What did I do with this one? Oh yeah, I made a little hamlet by the sea so that people could enjoy the cargo shipping, but it didn't really work because like, there's so much pollution in the water that like, they're just a, a peace, peaceful little village by the cargo shipping with a, just a river of shit. <laughs> it's, um... There's, there's, there's kind of horror horror game vibes to what I've made here, I think. It's, it's, it's kind of, um... It's something like the, the guys who made Alan Wake would make. <laughs> like, and then you get the, the train into the city, and then the city's full of abandoned buildings. Uh, it's, yeah. Um, anyway. Let me just zoom in. Let's just, let's just have a zoom in and look at the street. Cool. There we go. That's nice. I did do a lot of public transport on this one, though. Actually, most roads are bus and cycle lane and tram friendly, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, I'll probably chuck in a couple of, a, a couple of hours in the meantime and make it so that, um, Autism Bug is, like, out of the train population so we can play with trains next time. And then we can have a think about, like, what we want to do to make the, the best, the best train city possible. I think that'll be quite fun. Uh, give it that Dutch feel. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, 
if you've been enjoying the stream, you can pay for the stream uh, in the last couple of minutes. Uh, you can subscribe or tip or donate directly using command tip. If you are enjoying my work in general and want to pay for my work in general, in the meantime, you can go to patreon.com slash Sophie from Mars. Um, Twitch.tv slash Red Planet Live in a couple of hours, we are going to be talking to Maya Arson Crime You, the uh, trans cat girl hacker who leaked the TSA no fly list this week. It's very exciting. I'm really, really hyped to do this uh, episode, to do this interview. So please don't miss it. Um, I think I'm going to raid into someone um, in the meantime. But who? That's my question. Who's online? Are any of my co-hosts online? Actually, that would be really helpful. Kara might be streaming. She often she's been stream. I think she was like doing a thing where she streams every day. No, like no one's online. That's funny. Um. Okay, we're gonna raid Lana Lux, who is a a uh, game developer, actually. So I'll see what see what Lana's up to. Lana underscore Lux. Okay, everybody, have a nice time. Please don't forget in um. An hour and 40 minutes from now, we are interviewing Maya on twitch.tv slash redplanetlive. So please don't miss that. I'll see you all there, hopefully. Um, okay. <laughs> the raid takes uh, 10 seconds to start. I always forget that. Uh, hope you feel better soon. Thank you very much, Jenny. I really appreciate that. I'm working on it. I'm seeing friends. I'm doing stuff. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. Bye.